Hey peeps and my to right back and said another video today. I thought like we are always doing like videos that are for kids and stuff. So I thought I'd do a video for kids around my age. So today I'm going to be showing you all most of the makeup products that I own because some of them I lost. And I'm too lazy to find it. But before that, I also, I don't know if perfume counts as a makeup product, but I got this new perfume recently, and I've real I never opened it, so I really wanted to open it in front of you guys. So let's start off by opening this because this is like the mo the thing I'm most excited for. So this is a Valor perfume, and this is for her, which means like for girls, and it's made in the U.S. USA. Okay, so let's open it up. Can't wait to see what's inside. I just because I think this is gonna be a really good perfume because like the cover is so smooth. Wait, isn't all perfumes like that? Perfume boxes. But I really like the color and the design and the letters are in gold. So I can't imagine how good will the bottle be inside. Okay. So glad I got my own perfume. I always have to share it with people. Okay, so three, two, one. Oh well, it's still boxing. There's this USA flag. I can see a little hint of a rose gold cap. So as I said, the cap kind of looks gold or rose gold. So anyways, three, two, one. OMG, I didn't even take it out of the box yet, but it looks so good. I see the cap. I think it's purple because the cover is purple because it looks like it's purple. So let's take it out. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful, guys. It's my own perfume. I'm so happy. I love the cap. I love, love, love this bottle. It's like a, this very beautiful purplish, purplish color. And since, because the bottle is clearish purple, it's like even more prettier. And like in the box, it has gold letters. It's so pretty. So let's open it up and do a smell test. So the um, outer cap thing, the bob, is gold. So it smells so good. It's like the best perfume I've ever smelled. Let's try it. Mm, that smells good. Okay, so this perfume is really good. I really, really like it, guys. It's like the best. So let's put it back in the box boxing. I'm not gonna put it in my makeup kit because number one, it's too big, and number two, I don't want my precious perfume to go in there. Okay, so now let's actually start off with the makeup products. Okay, so first I'm going to be showing you my makeup kit bag. I got this from a birthday party. It's just like a leopard print, except it's pink and it has a cute glittery heart nose. So, first thing, let's start off with some eyeshadow. As you can see, this um, strand that closes it, kind of like a diary because this is a pocket palette. So, um, it's loose right now. So this is the cover. It has this like wooden print. It's not really wooden, but it has this really cool print. I can't explain like how it, how does it, I don't know, like what type of print it is. So some of my palettes are missing. These are the palettes and let me try them out. So the first palette, is this beige it can also be used as a highlighter because this is like a highlighter slash eyeshadow so this is it i don't think you can really show it because it's really similar to my skin tone the second color i have is the silver don't really use this much and i'm gonna put it on my So, 
third one is brown. I don't know why we need brown. Maybe for the... Um, anyway, so it's more like a gray. Or, let me show you guys. Kind of like that silver. Is it black? Looks brown. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, so it's over here. Then the fourth one is like the beige one, except a little darker. I like this one a little bit more because it shows up a little better. The box kind of mixing. Flip it. Ooh, that kind of ones in my skin tone too. But if you like put it in a certain angle, you can see the um like shimmery highlight. So the Six, the fifth one is missing. So the sixth one is there another silver or black? I don't know if you tell it is. It's kind of like a bluish gray. It's kind of similar to that. So most of them are similar to the next The next one is white. You all know the classic white. But it's like a pearly white, so it's kind of like that. Because I use it like as a base after I um, put like concealer, well not concealer, but the primer, the eyeshadow primer on my eyes. And this, the blue and white I actually use a lot. I even use it in some of my videos. This is the blue. Uh, speaking of the blue, it just came next. This one probably shows up the best. Okay, so the next color I have is a black. This time it's not that much color. It's maybe for like the eye part because um, in the instructions it came with like how to do it. Well, that's why it's called the instructions. Yeah. It really went off. This one is good. This one is really dark, maybe brown, it's a shade for your highlighter maybe. That's a golden color, so maybe for something like a party where you need to wear gold stuff. Or you just want to wear gold. It's like a dark gold, kind of. Brownish, maybe. This is the next shade. It's a normal gold, I guess. Actually, I never tried the blue and gold because I heard blue and gold goes across better, so maybe I can try it after this video. Next one is another black. This one is in as well, and um, the last two I lost, but the third to last one is also like the third color I use the most. It's like a purple. It's kind of like blended in with all the black. You can't really see it. It's this beautiful purple. It's like a little darker than a perfume kind of. So that was my first makeup product. Okay, so the next one is this LA Colors again. It's liquid makeup, so I don't really know if this is foundation or concealer. By the way, I don't own concealer, but I heard you can make concealer with foundation, so sometimes I just do that. Sometimes I don't even need concealer. So, but I don't know why we're talking about that, because this is liquid makeup, so it's like, I don't know if it's a substitute if I lose my foundation or BB cream. So, that's how it looks. And just like spread. It's, it's not really like a skin tone, but um, because I put like too much of it now. So that is my second makeup product. So my third makeup product is the foundation that I was talking about earlier. This one is um kind of different. Well, like really different because this one has like a more orangish tone. This one's like more like a skin tone. So this is the foundation. It's not LA Colors anymore. I'm, 
I can't buy like the same brand for everything. I'm not going on a whole LA Colors haul here. So this is Sassy plus Chick. I'm not Sassy. I'm just gonna take it from the sides right now because sometimes I squirt way too much. So this is the foundation. And I didn't put that much. So, yeah. And after that, I'm going to be showing you guys my BB cream that I was also talking about. The BB cream stands for Beauty Beneficial Cream. This says Benefit Cream, but it's actually beneficial. The texture is really cool. Can you hear that noise? And it's skincare plus makeup, so that's cool. Many people like it comes in like a box like this and it says BB on top and many people mistake it for foundation and think the BB is just a brand, but no, it's different than foundation because it's also good for skincare. So anyways, enough talking. This one is like a cross between the liquid makeup and a foundation for the skin tone. I'm just gonna take it from the inside. This is the BB cream. Let's close this up. I don't know why I switched hands. This one is also not really showing because I didn't put that much of it. So the next makeup product I have is this Maybelline Baby Lips Color Bomb Color Bomb Crayon. I thought it was I mistake this for lipstick, so I thought it was lipstick, but I really like the maybe the like packaging. Because it's like so silver and it's silver, not silver, metallic. And I wanted this shade of lipstick, technically lip balm, and for like ever. And I finally got it. It looks like really dark in the inside, like it looks like it's such a pretty color, but once you put it on. It's really light, so let me get that. Okay, so I have only a couple more to go. So then that was really fast. So the next one is a Itex Dazzler Eyeliner. I'm not gonna like put it on my arm. So maybe I can. This is the Apple Paper. And this is how it goes. I'm not really good at putting eyeliner, so usually I ask my mom to help. So yeah, after that, I have this. Another eyeshadow palette. This actually came with three palettes, but the other ones um, aren't like closed or everything. I just didn't keep in my makeup kit because I use it for other occasions. And this is not like a eyeshadow. And because it's like, you put it on top of eyeshadow because it's just like a glitter type. Like see, for example, this pink, it's just like a glitterish type. But still really pretty. And the pack's name was actually Girls Forever. That kind of rhymes with my channel, Fun Forever. So I only have a couple more to go, two more. I have this Lacme Iconic um, pencil because um, this is from my country because mostly in the USA, people, they like use eyeliner in, on this part of the eye. But in my country, they, you, they have this separate pencil. Or, so I actually will have one that I already opened. So this is the opened one that I already have, apart from the closed one. Let's keep it there. So for those of the Americans out there, you want to see how this is. This is the pencil. And you open it up by twisting it this way. And it has, it's like a stick and you're supposed to put it in your under eye like that. 
Sometimes I put it on my videos. You're not too supposed to roll it up that much. Only like a little bit at a time. Because recently I just went to my country. So I just um, bought a different pack because we might not be going there in a long time, depending on the situation that's going on right now. And the last product I have for today, because like all the other ones went missing, is the Lacme Rose Powder with sunscreen. It doesn't actually come with sunscreen, the powder is sunscreen. I put this little cool heart sticker on it. It's another Lacme product. And this is the inside. I actually remember once I spilled some like on the floor and everything and that was it. So it comes with a brush and it's like a air where I think you just squeeze out or it comes little at a time. And this is the brush that you applicate it with. And it's cool because it has this little holding thing. So it's kind of all right going on. It's not really a rose color. It's like more like whitish, but I can use it after I put, instead of using like compact powder because I don't have any more because I used it all. I can, this can be like my substitute and I can put it after I put foundation instead of foundation. So guys, that's all the makeup products that I uh, wanted to show you guys today. And um, I really like this perfume that we had open today. It's the best, guys. Probably why I'm showing it again. So guys, anyway, enough of that. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. I can't really do that right now, again. And I'll see you guys all next time with a new fun video. Goodbye. I keep a photograph.